States, Donald Trump has chosen Alabama Senator Jeff Sessions to be attorney general. Sessions is a former prosecutor who was elected to the Senate in 1996. As an Alabama senator, he's consistently supported anti-immigration legislation. In 2010, he was a leading proponent of the efforts to repeal the 14th Amendment, which grants citizenship to everyone born in the United States. Jeff Sessions has also been a vocal opponent of the Voting Rights Act. In 1986, President Ronald Reagan nominated Sessions for a federal judgeship, but he was denied confirmation because of his history of racist comments, including reportedly saying he thought the Ku Klux Klan, quote, was okay until I found out they smoked pot, unquote. He's also called the American Civil Liberties Union and the NAACP un American and communist inspired. Meanwhile, officials from Donald Trump's transition team have told multiple news outlets that Trump has offered Lieutenant General Michael Flynn the position of national security advisor. Flynn is well known for his anti Muslim worldview, having called Islam a cancer and saying, quote, fear of Muslims is rational, unquote. General Flynn is also on the board of advisors for Act for America, an anti-Muslim organization that's been designated as a hate group by the Southern Poverty Law Center. This position of national security advisor does not require Senate confirmation. Flynn served as the director of the Defense Intelligence Agency under President Obama, during which time some of his subordinates invented the term Flynn facts to refer to the false claims Flynn frequently made, including claiming Sharia law was spreading in the United States. Flynn was a key advisor for Donald Trump during the 1916 campaign, during which he refused to condemn Trump's proposed use of torture. Human Rights Watch said his pick shows, quote, a deeply disturbing disregard for human rights principles and the laws of war, unquote. Another controversial military figure, former CIA director and retired U.S. Army General David Petraeus, is reportedly in the running for Secretary of State. In 2015, Petraeus was sentenced to two years probation and a $100,000 fine after pleading guilty to leaking highly classified information to his biographer and lover, Paula Broadwell. This comes after Trump has spent months calling for Hillary Clinton to be jailed for her use of a private email server when she served as Secretary of State, despite being cleared of wrongdoing by multiple FBI investigations. Donald Trump also met with President Nixon's Secretary of State Henry Kissinger Thursday at Trump Tower.